All right, let's take a look at negative indices. So basically, indices just means power. So a number to the power of something. So negative indices is when the power is a negative number. So how would we get negative indices? First of all, let's take a look at this. 2 to the power of 10 minus 2, uh, sorry, not minus, divide by 2 to the power of 5. What does that make? Well, we're dividing 10 to the power, 10 divided by 5. That should give us 10 minus 5, giving us 10, 2 to the power of 5. Why does this happen? Well, 2 to the power of 10, what is it? It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, times 2, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. That divided by 2 to the power of 5. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's basically what this means. 2 to the power of 10 is 2 multiplied 10 times by, by itself. 2 to the power of 5 is 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. So what happens when we divide? We can cancel out, right? So 2 cancels out, cancels out, cancels out, cancels out, cancels out. So that becomes become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 to the power of 5 over 1, which is basically 2 to the power of 5. So what does this show us? We can just minus the indices, right? When we're dividing and we're, when we're multiplying, we would add the indices. So with this logic, what would happen if we had 2 to the power of 0 divided by 2 to the power of 5? Well, with that logic, we'd have 2 to the power of minus 5, right? Because 0 minus 5 is minus 5. So how does this happen? And before I do that, I just want to cover. We did 2 to, the, 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of is minusing the powers, right? Multiplication is adding the powers, right? 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 5, what would that be? It can't happen. You can't add powers together if it's just an add symbol. In the same way, you can't do 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 5. It just does not work, okay? It, it, it only happens when you're doing multiplication and division. The only way you can simplify powers is if you have, uh, say, two to, 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 to the power of 5, you can, you can write 2, so you can, you can multiply these together, right? So 4 to the power of 5. That's the only thing that can happen. Because this is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? And this is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So when you multiply these two together, you get 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, right? So 4 to the power of 5 sets, 4 to the power of 5. That's the only way you can simplify powers. You can never add powers if the symbol is an add. You can never subtract powers if the symbol is minus. You can only um, simplify the front numbers if they work. Okay, let's take a look at division of negative indices now. So 2 to the power of 0 min divided by 2 to the power of 5 would be 2 to, the minus, 2 to the minus 5, right? How does this work? Let's try visualize this in the same way we did here. So 2 to the power of 0 is basically 1, right? Why does that happen? So let's take a look at this. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is uh, 8. And 2 to the power of 1 is 2, right? Notice anything? We're dividing by 2 each time. So 2 to the power of 0, with this same logic, would be 2 divided by 2, which would be 1. So any number, this is a rule for indices, any number to the power of 0 makes 1. No matter the number, it's always 1. So 2 to the power of 0 is going to be 1 divided by 2 to the power of 5, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? So what is it? It's 1 over 2 to the power of 5. That is equal to 2 to the power of negative 5. That's basically all you have to know. When you have a negative power to represent it as a fraction in fraction form, you put a 1 on top, you put the power number below it, and you flip the sign to a positive number. It's with this logic, because 2 to the power of 0 would be 1 divided by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the power of 5. That's how it works. Alrighty. Let's take a look at a couple of examples then. Some example questions. You could be asked in your GCSE questions to evaluate 4 to the power of negative 2. What does this evaluate mean? It just basically means turn it into fraction form. So how do we turn this into fraction form? We explained this previously, but I'll try to, I'll just visualize it one more time just so that you guys can understand it fully. So imagine, in order to help understand this, we could write this as 4 to the power of 0 divided by 4 to the power of negative 2. Uh, oh, just 4 to the power of 2, sorry. Because negative and a ne negative would combine to make a positive. So four, 4 to the power of 0 divided by 4 to the power of 2 minus the powers 4 to the power of negative 2, right? Uh, if you want to visualize it, that's 4 times 0, so that's 1, divided by 4 times 2. 4 times 4, which makes 1 over 4 to the power of 2. 
That's basically it. Now you can simplify this, right? Four squared is 16, so that can become one to the power of 16, one over 16, sorry. Okay, let's take a look at another one. 36 to the power of one half. This is not the same thing as this. Remember, this is still a positive number. It is still, it's, 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 it's not a negative, right? It's 0 0.5. This is equal to 36 to the power of 0 0.5. This is what we call fractional indices. It's when you have a fraction as the power of your indice. I'll explore this in the next video. So let's take a look at another example of a negative indice then. We have 5 to the power of negative 3. What will we do here? Well, 5 to the power of neg negative 3 is going to be equal to 1 divided by 5 to the power of 3. That's it. And you can simplify 5 to the power of 3, right? It's 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 1 over 125. Remember, anything to the power of 0, so to say 25 to the power of 0, is always equal to 1. This is an important rule of indices. All right, that's basically all you have to know. Whatever number you have, 10 to the power of negative 7, all you have to do is put 1 on top, divide it by the number, and you flip the sign to a positive. That's it. 10 to the power of negative, one, negative 11. Put a 1 on top, divide it, 10 below, and flip the sign. 6 to the power of negative 1, 1 on top, below, 6, and flip the sign. That's all you have to do. Negative indices.